Okay, right. So let's begin with race number one. We're going to start this one here in P3. And look at this. The top five are all very close in terms of our qualifying time here. So this could actually be quite a tough race. And, um, well, it certainly is going to be a good race. Uh, both of them are today. This is the first of two. So we're starting here behind uh, Sabolosh and Mingo. I do apologise if I said your names wrong. And uh, we've got uh, Dimitri behind us. And Ryder Beck. This is all from the Monday Night Live. And... Yeah, this is uh, obviously the shortened down, condensed, and the more entertaining version of their races. But if you want to see the full footage, check it out up at the top of the screen, and you can watch the whole races unedited with my live reactions. But anyway, we're starting this one off here, and we've changed our view for this one. And the reason why is because I just felt a lot of confidence using this view use, uh, on this um, occasion around here, so I thought I'd mix it up a bit. Now anyway, we're going to try and not get um, things wrong on the first lap here, and to be fair, we do manage that. Um, for, the, for the first corner there anyway. We do manage to survive this corner as well. This uh, little hairpin is also a bit risky, but we do just bug out of that alive without any contact, which is good. But you can see how close Dimitri was behind us there. Um, I didn't realise I had my radar off at this point. I had the uh, Delta at the bottom. I don't know why. I should have put it on. I just completely forgot. Um, but yeah, Daytona. Try, uh, this is Daytona Road Course. This is such a good track. I really enjoy this one in the group threes as well. Definitely think I might do that um, more often. Of course, we have an open lobby coming up soon next Thursday, which you guys will see. Click that. Um, you can see it in the community tag up the tab on my page. But also, if you're going to be there, I'll be live streaming that, making some videos from it. It'll be lots of fun. So make sure you check it out. Um, but here we go. So we're still behind Sabolish at the moment and Mingo. We just try not to let these guys get away, but our qualifying times are still very competitive all of us in the top five are quite close so realistically i think we could be looking at a, possibly a win here however we just need to make sure we get it right and we're just trying to make sure we get round there we go we got past the uh, most difficult part of the track there that's going to be the bus stop and pretty much dead easy to get a penalty there if you go over the white lines on the exit um we'll talk about the track limits later on in this one but yeah we do make it through we're going to fast forward the action here into hyperdrive to the start of the next lap here, lap number two. And they're going to look up ahead here, where Mingo and Sabolish are, well, going to trade positions as Mingo goes a bit deep, and that therefore gives Sabolish a opportunity to get the move done. Now, for this, for these races today, we do have a pit stop to make about halfway through the race, and we need to change tyres as well. So we're going to go from a race hard to race mediums, or if we're starting on mediums, race mediums to race hards. So two tyres to go through. Trying to work out what the guys ahead are on at the moment in time. It looks like Sabolish has just shot away in the distance there, but it's hard to tell at this moment in time. I do quite like the livery on the um, on Mingo's car up ahead here, this uh, Red Bull livery. Pretty sweet, I've got to be honest. If you're wondering who made my livery for this event, uh, I actually received it from G. Ashton. So thank you, my friend. Um, I've actually got a revised version, which if I do another Daytona event, obviously we'll definitely be seeing that one. But anyway, so... We're going to skip forward here to the end of lap four, where we're going to go make our pit stop, because not much has happened really between now and then. We're going to get our racing mediums equipped. So our pit crew there looking awesome, doing a great job as always. And there you go, you can see delivery in a bit more, um, in a, a bit more up close. You've got to love that. And um, look at that. Okay, we're off. So let's see, what can we do? We're going to be coming out of the pits in P10, it looks like. So we've got a safe gap to everyone behind, but we're just looking ahead. As we are looking ahead, we've got bus stop right now, where we're going to... Oh, I think we just crossed the white line there. It's such a tricky bit of track, and lo and behold, yes, we got that penalty. Okay, not ideal. Half a second, and that half a second is actually more than half a second in the grand scheme of things. So we'll see here. This would be our outlap. Uh, sorry, outlap. I can't speak today. This would be our outlap, but still that's half a second but over the course of now to the straight we're losing time as well until the first corner so i'd probably say we lost about a second in total all in all or thereabouts anyway so okay well, we've still got sabolish up ahead and mingo that hasn't pitted as well as uh, jelly uh, in p2 there we do jump up there the order into p4 so we are technically um where we need to be we just got mingo and jella or Jelly um, to pit. So we might come out ahead of one of them or both of them possibly. They're both in the pits on the following lap. So lap number seven now. 
and we're going to just make sure we get this right which we do get a little bit deep here but our tyre wear is kicking in slightly but we're still pretty good with the new tyre regulations or not the regulations, the tyre revised um, with it all being revised and changed up it actually certainly feels a lot more different they do feel a lot more sustainable for longer but here we go starting lap number nine here just after the first hairpin and we're right behind Mingo now we've caught up it's been a good couple of laps we've had but now we're looking to close down the gap even more 1.3 seconds to Mingo this is going to be close but Mingo is going to get slightly wrong there and we're going to hopefully be able to bring down this gap even more although it looks like we also get it a little bit wrong but yeah, 1.3. I think Mingo is on the slower tyre compound now, so on the hard tyres. So tyre wear is not really too much of an issue in this race. Um, from this moment in the race, it's pretty much down to just how fast we can go. And obviously the faster tyre compound should come out on top. But you see, as we're approaching the bus stop here, we're 1.1 seconds away. So that gap is slowly coming down, but only by a small margin. We've got 4.8 seconds to Sabolish up in P1, so I don't think we're catching him. But still, we could be looking at a good battle here. We're just going to try and navigate the bus stop. This time we're going to try and get it right, and this time we do get it right. Mingo doesn't get it right. And we're going to be looking for a very satisfying move around the outside. Can we get it done? Yes, we can. With a bit of overspeed, tire advantage, and a good exit. That is exactly what you need. And as you can see, we'd... there we go. We now just realised the radar was not on. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, um, let's just now bring this one home. So we've got one more lap to go. We've got a nice little two-tenth gap forming to Mingo just back behind. I'm cautious about where I'm positioning the car right now, but we just want to keep it on the inside, and that we do. So, okay, brilliant. Now, this track is pretty much as soon as on the straights and on, well, on the out, or not on the infield anymore, uh, on the oval part of the track. It's pretty much slipstream and top speed so we're in the same car i've got the tire advantage but do you want to be in second place right now or do you want to be within slipstream well we are starting to get a bit of a gap now at three temps nearly four temps and i'm pretty determined that we can break this gap we can we can try and do better and i feel quite confident around a bus stop as well so we're going to see what we can do here is so we're going to try and hit our breaking points which is just the start or just the end of that curving on the right there where the transition goes to the tarmac and we're going to try and get the best exit here since doing this event i have improved my qualifying time so i have uh, found a bit more pace but yeah having it for this race would have been very helpful uh, but look at this four tenths of a gap now to mingo and that gap is slowly as you're going to see here slowly start shrinking till we get to the bus stop but yeah then it all comes down to that one move so we're going to break just before the one board there where the line is on the bottom of the track Mingo getting really close to us. I think there could have been contact. I'm not too sure. But look at that. We get a pretty good exit, if I say so myself. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to cover off the inside here. So we're going to stay as, well, as over to the left-hand side of the track as we can within keeping with track limits. And you're going to see Mingo here. Is he going to go right? Bump drafting. What's he going to do? He's going to go on the inside. But that's not track limits, is it? Well, apparently, we do get budged out of the way. And we do lose out on that PC, which I kind of think that was robbed, in my opinion. I mean, fair enough, though. It can be done. But, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I don't think that was right. Let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think? Was that actually legal or not? Um, I don't know if that was meant to be. But, as you see, that was pretty much a photo finish. Now, for this race, it's also another amazing race. So, this is a little bit later on in the night. This is, uh, I think, the last race that we did of the evening, if I am correct. If not as a second to last race. We've got Dude just up ahead of us here. Warlock. And I think Josh set a super good time um, in P1. So I think we're probably looking at a podium at best here. However, we're starting this one on the hard tyres once again. And we're just trying to navigate round the track. And we've already caught up to Dude in the sw pretty sweet looking Ferrari livery. I've got to be honest. Now, I'm really, really trying to work on getting round Dude ASAP. Because I find that I'm just catching up really quickly so I think I've got a little bit more track pace than dude um, at least it feels that way anyway obviously slipstream assisted and you know when I'm on stream I think I've got a bit of confidence anyway not much but a little bit <laughs> um, so we're gonna try and make the move and I don't want to get overtaken by the guys behind so I do need to do something soon anyway but yeah definitely feeling a little bit held up at this moment in time I'm gonna look for the move can we go around the outside or no, we're going to try and go around the inside. We're going to go over the yellow lines like the um, 
driver did uh, like Mingo did in the race one. However, this time we're going to get a penalty, 1.5 seconds. So, Polyphony, please fix the track limits because uh, definitely a serious concern. We do go side by side with Mingo, and I do apologise about that. And because of that, we're out of position. And yeah, just to add um, pain on top of all of that, we're going to get another extension. So, two second penalty. Well, I guess we can wave goodbye to podium for the time being. So we're going to, of course, we're not going to get in Rose's way really here. We're going to just fall back down the order. Where are we going to come out? We're going to lose one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go really low here. Are we going to lose any more? I think we're going to, it's going to be close here because it looks like Momo is approaching us just up behind. And we're going to go for a, is that an, a sensational move around the outside? Yep, that is the one. Or oh, actually near it, nearly, nearly. But we just about covered them off. That looked quite close though. Still though, very good attempt. And someone is off track there. That one is going to be dude once again. So out of position. And I was kind of hoping for some clear air. But we do find ourselves stuck behind dude once again. But we will get past. I'm sure we will. So we're going to just stay behind for now. We're just going to bide our time. And when the right opportunity comes up, we will take it. But we need to make the move as soon as possible. Because I'm just... I know I, know I can get around. So we, I didn't realise my breaking point now. I've just lost track of it. So we do get caught out of position. But we do luckily recover it in uh, no time there now we do look for the move here don't really normally make the move but yeah we're just trying to put, put them out of position so we can get the move done now all mind games and all that go a little bit sideways lose us a bit of time and Momo as you're going to see here going to skip speed things up and Momo is going to look for the move around us going to go around the outside and are we going to see Momo get the move done yes we are what a lovely move that was a uh, great drive in there But again, we do have slipstream here and we're going to be caught in a bit of an awkward predicament here because we're going to actually find ourselves with nowhere to go. So we're going to be boxed in. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do what we like to do and that's bump drafting. Assuming that that's okay with everyone else, which on GT7 it don't seem to be an issue. We're going to bump draft and help dude out there to say thank you um, for obviously bearing with me. I know I've been a bit aggressive in this race with you. But anyway, we've got a bit of overspeed, got the slipstream. We're going to break a tiny bit early, but we're going to get the move done. Very nice move there for myself, if I say so myself. And now we've found ourselves up into P9. So, brilliant stuff. We've come out ahead there. Now we just need to try and not get ourselves in a bad position, which luckily we are okay. Demi also goes into the back of... Uh, not Demi, sorry. Uh, Momo always goes into the back of us, but luckily he does not. So we do live to fight another day. we found ourselves in P9 right now. Now we are going to be looking at our pit stop pretty soon, but it's not coming just yet. Although, again, Momo, Momo getting really close to us. Is this the Momos we know and love, guys, or is this a different Momo? Let me know, because I've got Momo on my friends list, and we have raced together. It's been a, a, a lovely pleasure. But here we go. So we're going to, again, find ourselves without slipstream here. So we're going to see Momo. Are we going to speed things up this time? No, I don't think we are. So Momo is going to get a lot of slipstream from ourselves. Where are we going to position the car for this one? Well, Momo went around the outside of us last time. This time Momo's going to go around the inside. And I don't really want to go side by side through here. So what we're going to do, we're going to just break slightly, slightly earlier. Um, Momo gets a brilliant line through there. And, you know, kudos to you, Momo, for those sweet moves that you've done on me today. I've got to say, good racing. Um, so now we're six tenths away from Momo. Didn't get the best of exit. Someone's going really slow there. That's going to be Warlock, who I think was in P2, I think, at one point, or around that point anyway. So we go up into P8, but we're going to go into our pit stops here and going to try and hopefully get a good pit stop. Going to go from the hard tyres to the medium once again. And you can see there, the pit crew doing amazingly there. By the way, guys, if you want to become a channel member, click the link in the channel below, in the description below, and you can become part of the pit crew team. Or crew chief, if you so wish. So, now we found ourselves just ahead of Dude and behind Momo. So we lost a little bit of time in the pits, I think. But in P12, we should hopefully get those positions back as everyone goes in the pits. As you see here, we've gone up into P6, at least temporarily. Going to try and not get ourselves in a bad place there, and we do all right. Uh, that first turn, definitely one of the harder corners on the track, but not the hardest. Well, we're going to come up just behind these two drivers. That's going to be Dimitri and um, a German driver. The German driver goes very sideways, goes a bit um, off track, but we, I'm unintentionally going to have a bit of contact there. So I do apologise to um, 
uh, Peter there, I think. I don't know his surname, but apologies to the German driver. Didn't mean for that contact. We're going to hold off the inside line. I know they got the fresh tyres, but we do need to try and stick our elbows out here to have a chance at recovering some positions. We're going to get a good exit here, cover off our line, and, well, there we go. Now, it's again, it's kind of all slipstream kind of based around here, so we really need to make sure we're sticking in uh, Dimitri's slipstream, which we don't really do at the moment, but we did get a good exit anyway. We've dropped a dude behind, which is good, and a couple more people in the pits. So where's that going to mean we're going to we're going to be? Are we going to be in P6? Of course, we don't have the freshest tyres around here, but our tyres we can make last to the end. So it looks like we're going to come out in P8 after all is said and done. But it looks like there's some contact between Jelly and um, Rose, so that's the Spaniard and the Dutch driver. Meanwhile, we're in, we're just behind Dimitri in kind of a little train form in here, the four of us. So things do start to get very spicy just um, within the next couple of laps here. So we're going to see some positions being swapped with the guys up ahead. I think Rose and Jelly are trading positions, or at least it looked like they were anyway. And we're navigating out of the infield area, so now we're on back onto the oval. We are firmly in the slipstream now at 7 temps, but Dimitris does have the slipstream from Jelly up ahead, who then has it from uh, Rose. And as you see, we're 10 seconds away from the leader, so yeah, I don't think Podium is really going to be up for play anymore, but this one is still quite a good race because, well, we're going to see very shortly anyway. We're going to navigate through the bus stop here. And actually get a fairly okay line. I could have been on the power slightly sooner. I should have been a little bit more confident with that. Obviously, watching that back, we do learn from it. And that's kind of, you know, that's definitely why we do Monday that Live, to improve and to have fun on stream. But anyway, here we go. So fast forward in the action here. And we've found these three very close together. So, yeah, this is definitely going to get very tasty here. So you're going to see Jelly off track there. Demi nearly off track on the inside there. But uh, Dimitri's going for a lovely move. He's going to go up one position. Can he make that to... Not quite yet. Rose is just holding us all up at the moment, it looks like, with Jelly just recovering in the nick of time. I don't really want to be caught in the middle of everyone here, but we do have a bit of time to Tiger King behind. So, yeah, um, just also shout out to Momo for getting the fastest lap of the race. I've just seen that. Now, Dimitris is going to have contact with Rose. They're going to nearly pit maneuver them, and that's therefore going to slow down them guys up ahead, which is good for us, but at the same time, we need, to, we need it to kind of be timed to perfection. And at the moment, it's not quite perfect. So you see we're a bit slow through here. We're just trying to make sure we kind of get a slingshot effect going here. So these three extremely close together, about four temps separating them. Now, as we look up ahead here, coming round, well, at the start of the bus stop in a minute, uh, we want to pay attention to these three who are a bit slidey. I think there's some connection issues there. So Jelly is going to be right on the back of Rose. Dimitris gets it slightly wrong there, and therefore we get a little bit wrong. Uh, it looks like there's going to be some contact with Jelly and Rose, and Rose falls down into P7 for the time being. Dimitris gets a penalty. I didn't even pick up on that till just now. So it looks like Dimitris is going to serve that penalty, and that means we're going to go up into P7, although... Things now that get very interesting. As you're going to see here, Rose is going to look for the move around the inside of Jelly, like what happened to me on the last race, and it gets pit manoeuvred. Rose just pit manoeuvred Jelly, unfortunately, there. And uh, Dimitri just comes into the picture just for a minute there to say hello. I'm still here. But yeah, that was absolutely crazy. That was, um, yeah, I didn't see that coming, to be honest. But those three just can't it's just unfolded. <laughs> so that was. Um, that moves us right up into P5, so we get, jump up three positions for pretty much the price of nothing. Um, what, a, what a dramatic way to end, well, you know, end things off really. So we're going to go to the final lap here where Dimitris is just behind us. And, well, we're going to see Dimitris look for the move around the outside here as we're covering off the inside. Again, going to make our car as wide as possible, look to break as late as possible. And we do get a good line through there and looks like we should hopefully make it out alive. Of course, it is slipstream we need to be focused on. But luckily, we do get our good lines. And as long as we get a good bus stop exit, which hopefully we do, like we did in the last race, a good exit on the final corner, final turn, final lap. Yep, there we do. There we go, even. We get that done. That is going to be 
for us if we don't get it wrong, which is four tenths, which is slightly ahead than we were ahead of Mingo in the last race. At, uh, one extra tenth, I think it is. This should be a good opportunity for us to break away and get a P4, a P5 finish. And yep, it looks like Dimitris has a penalty, so that's going to do it, guys. What a sensational event! I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. P5 finish, absolutely love to see that. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and take care. Cheers, guys.